Uh, good morning, parents and scholars. Uh, this week, we are going to review the packet for beginning Monday, May 4th, and ending with Friday, I believe it is May 8th. So in looking at our Monday packet, um, we are focusing on cause and effect. We are working on standard uh, RL, Reading Literature 3.10. The objective is that the student can demonstrate understanding of the one and only Ivan by identifying two causes and the effects um, these causes had on the actions of the story. First thing the student's going to do is they're going to watch the read aloud um, cause and effect lesson that Ms. Darcy and I will be posting on the Google Classroom. They're then going to complete the comp vocabulary chart for the word cook. Um, you could find that word in two different places, actually three. One, if you go to the packet and you go to page 17, the word and the definition um, is provided for the student in the packet. You can also go to the Google Classroom, and on the Google Classroom, we have the same graphic organizer. However, there is a text box with a link that gives you the definition um, um, via online. And then the third thing is that you can find um, the word being used in a sentence or in a frame um, on page, I believe <clears throat> that would be like page 36 um, in the book. The student will then also um, complete the graphic organizer on page 16. It's a cause and effect. And so um, just to remind, a cause is what, why something happens and the effect is what happens as, as the result of that cause. Um, you can also get support with understanding cause and effect using the anchor chart on page 17. And then the students will then complete their learning log in the Google Classroom. This is very something, in, uh, this is very important that students are doing daily it um, monitors participation and also completion of assignments. And then they have an exit ticket on Flipgrid that they will share with their class. Why do they think Stella is upset about Ruby? And then on Tuesday, the scholars will also be doing a reading day. It will be comprehension questions for the set of chapters that we will be reading this week. And you can always find those chapters read aloud in our daily lessons that me and Ms. Gonzalez provide. You're gonna complete the vocabulary chart for the word entwined, which is also found in the book, online, and on the same page that you would find the word coax. After they complete the vocabulary word, they will then answer the comprehension questions on the following page. There's three comprehension questions and then a beyond these comprehension questions mostly have to do with opinion-based. They're always their opinions on characters, characters' actions, plot elements. All of it has to do with their opinions. Why do you think? How do you know this? What, what do you predict? All opinion-based. And then they will complete the Flipgrid post and the learning log on Google Classroom. Uh, I also believe that they have an exit ticket in the vocabulary quiz, correct, Ms. Darcy? For two oh, I'm so sorry. That was for Wednesday. I'm a day ahead. All right, guys. For Wednesday, May 6th, we are going to be focusing on opinion rating. And so the opinion prompt is going to be um, how the student feels about how George treats or interacts and cares for Stella. Now the student can do George, or if the student feels they want to do Mac. Mac is the owner of the Big Top Mom. First thing the student's going to do is they're going to watch the opinion writing lesson video on the Google Classroom that Ms. Darcy and I will post. They will then review the anchor charts and sentence starters to help with organizing their writing process. So the students have been familiar with the Oreo writing uh, process, both the planner and the anchor chart and it gives them detailed um, information as to how they're supposed to state their opinion clearly, reasons why they feel, examples, and so forth. Um, and then the fourth thing they're going to do is they're going to complete their vocabulary chart for the word indifferent. 
that is found on page 76. You're also going to complete an exit ticket on the Google form and um, in a vocabulary quiz, and then also your learning log. If you go to page 21, you will see um, opinion sentence starters um, for introdu introductions, given reasons, and then writing their conclusion. Okay, this is found again on page 21. This will help with the writing process. If you flip over to page 22, you will have the graphic organizer, your writing planner, um, and then the writing prompt. How do you feel about how George or Mac treats or interacts and cares for Stella? Again, um, the graphic organizer is very detailed and to help you with writing the, with the writing process. And then on page 23, you will find your vocabulary graphic organizer for the word indifferent. And then also you would find um, the vocabulary word um, for Wednesday and nimbly would be for Thursday. On Thursday, you will still be adding on to your opinion writing. This will be revising and editing following the track we've been doing. You will take what you wrote on Wednesday and you will then use the checklist and you will edit your writing and complete a final draft or a final paragraph. You will complete the vocabulary word at the beginning. And then if you flip to page 25, here is your checklist. And when you're filling this out, you wanna be referencing your graphic organizer. So if you said, I told my readers my opinions and ideas on a topic or text and help them understand my reasoning. If you feel like you did that, you check yes. If you go, uh, kind of, you do starting to. And if not yet, if you check not yet, you need to make sure you edit that in your writing because we do not want any not yet. We want all starting to's or yeses. And then that brings us to our last day of the packet, Friday, May 8th on page 26. Um, we are going to focus on our informational text standard and your objective is that you're going to describe why Thomas Jefferson is a national hero. Uh, this is the the same process as we did last week on Harriet Tubman. So you're going to read the article about Thomas Jefferson. You're going to complete um, the biography graphic organizer in your packet. Um, you can log into BrainPop to learn more about Thomas Jefferson. You're going to complete the learning log in the Google Classroom and then take your Illuminate assessment is the final thing. Um, I forgot to add in there that Ms. DRC and I will also um, be uploading a video for Friday um, on how to complete the biography graphic organizer. So if you read the text and if you go to page 30, which is the last page, you are going to have the biography graphic organizer. Um, just some information that you will have to fill in is um, obviously the person's name, Thomas Jefferson, when they were born and when did they die, um, and then three facts about what you learned about Thomas Jefferson from the text, and then why, what, what was something important to this person, and how can you tell based on what you read. Scholars, you have to make sure you're watching our daily videos because me and Ms. Gonzalez will be doing a lot of the reading and we will be mirroring the graphic organizer. So if you watch, there's a good chance you'll be able to fill in about half of your graphic organizer just by listening and following along with me and Ms. Gonzalez. And also for some students who are having some technical difficulties, especially with accessing brain pop, Ms. Yerasi and I play those brain pop videos within our lesson. So please take advantage of that. Um, parents, if you have any questions along with scholars, please visit us daily during our office hours from 2.30 to 3.30. Also, you are more than welcome to email and reach out to us at any time. Um, and then students, you are doing a really good job about leaving comments in the Google Classroom that day. So, um, Hope to see you guys uh, every morning during crew 
hours from 8.30 to 9, and then during our office hours from 2.30 to 3.30. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.